Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? He <laughs> said? Oh, yes, well, that's it. <laughs> uh, yes. So, but you get this. A uh, guy goes on television, I got three daughters and I'm saving for when they get married. He goes, spend, you know. He has a special account at Citibank or some such thing. And he's going to do this and do that and bore his head and this and wine and tomorrow and they're all broke. <laughs> you know, all marriage meant was that there is a legal recognition that that man and that woman belong to each other. <clears throat> so interfere with your parents. That's all it means. But no, God, I don't know. I wonder if infants love your infancy as adults do adultery. <laughs> anyway, he's a bastard. Custom is to treat bastards by. Is custom the true basis of law? In English law it is. French law it is. German law it is. Should it be, Shakespeare says. Well, who is saying that custom should be? In England, it's Maitland, you may have heard of him, and Sir Henry Mayne. The Henry Main is the man said, who said that uh, progressive societies move from status to contract. The woman in, in, in 1100 BC, or AD, huh? the woman in your kitchen was cooking for you because of status. She was a serf, or an A in ESNE. That's why she was cooking there. In 1986, she's cooking there because you had a pair. It's a contract. You move from status to contract. But the key fellow for your purposes. Because Lynn always reported in Savigny, S A V I G N Y. Now, the French name is German. And he believed in what is called Volksgeist. You heard of that? He said, custom brings out the spirit of a people. Volksgeist. And therefore, custom should be the basis of all law because it expresses the people's innate. Feelings. So law is customary. Says Sevilla. German law should be customary. So should English law be customary. French law. Whatever law you want. Don't laugh at it. Why do you think you drive in Britain the left side of the road and in America the right side? Custom. Why do you think you want a bill when you're getting married? No law saying that. Hmm? Or we are white, you know. The <laughs> custom. But don't, I don't agree with them, I'm saying, but don't laugh at them. You see where they're coming from. Because they're going to do what Edmund Burke did. Edmund Burke is one of the most despicable, contemptible intellectuals you could ever meet. He said, if something still exists, it must have had something good about it that it still exists. He's a conservative. See, that's, the, that's the origin of conservatism. Let what will be be. You know that stupid song by Rogers and Hammerstein? Somewhere in my deepest childhood, I must have done something good. Some guy going to the gallows. <laughs> <laughs> Robbed this bank, killed this one here. But somewhere in his deepest childhood, he must have done something good. Uh, Bob believed that leave institutions alone. Don't interfere with them. The fact that they exist so long means a custom has approved of them. And there must be something germane, good about it. No change, no change. So, I tell you all this and I make this excursion to Jewish students. You bet you know Shakespeare is arguing heavily against custom here. It isn't as Coleridge and Charles Lamb and Hazlitt would have you believe that he said, hey, look, bastard is a bad thing, and this chap is a bastard, so he's an evil man, and they were the third, and, and, and he was, he is a villain in the play. It's not, that's not what Shakespeare said. He's highlighting the fact, he could, he could have made him 
younger son and let him be here by you. But bastards have played an important part in succession battles. There's a Duke of Monmouth who had a rebellion, you know. Later on, not this year, 50 years later, to get to the throne, Charles and those guys had to cover him. And bastards still try to get thrown. <coughs> In fact, the Duke of Paris is still trying to prove he's not a bastard, as far as I understand it. At least when I was in the university, it was alleged he was a bastard. I, he was not. <laughs> so, here Edmund, and he's true. What he does, <coughs> he does what Yahoo does in the term. The lawful son is Edgar, and the father is lost. So uh, he works to make lust to call Edgar his lawful son. How does he do it? And letter, the same old technique. This letter says, when old men get old, you should let them uh, become wards of the sons. Let the sons run into their estate. He, uh, yeah, this is the uh, handwriting of your son Edgar, you know, and uh, he arranged a conversation, you know. The author should overhear a conversation between himself and Edgar. Same technique that is used in Hotel. You hear him speaking, and he says, run, run, and you know, buy him, and cuts himself, pretended wounds, the whole malarkey. He ends up getting the two sisters, Goneril and Regan, both to love him. <laughs> he don't love either. You know? And in the end, Goneril poisons Regan and kills herself for him. He don't love either. <laughs> you ever seen a, a fish, a, a, a bowl of goldfish or some kind of fish? They have three fish, and two are fighting. <laughs> One is Leading and deciding why they fight. Because when they finish, A is going to kill B, but A is tired. Then he will kill A. Yeah. <laughs> you see? He will have either of them. In the end, uh, Gordon kills Reagan. She kills herself. He organizes that Cordelia is hanged in prison. Yes. And Larry ends up dying too and comes into the beautiful thing to see after. He called in his hands and his whole world is shattered. You know? One man organizes all this evil. <laughs> One man. What you should, when you read the play, study the techniques that Edmund uses to uh, cause all these events to flow. And ask yourself, why were they successful? And ask yourself, Paul, are there any contemporary counterparts? And they are. And look around you too. Who is always interpreting? Who is always carrying the news? How is the battle going? How is this happening? Who is the common factor? So he's, to my mind, he and uh, he and uh, Iago are two of the best, far more better, far better manipulators than Cassius, Cassius, Caesar, who so far must be not be seduced. Eh? He's 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 bush leagues, man. These guys are major leagues. <laughs> <laughs> this is major league here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> major league. 